Join me in the goodness kitchen as we learn new exciting recipes, chill with some of your faves and enjoy intriguing games for your satisfaction. Ready for a taste of goodness? Hello everyone, welcome to another beautiful episode of Goodness Kitchen with Chef T brought to you by Malta Guinness. I am Chef Tolani, popularly known as Diary of a Kitchen Lover and this episode promises to be super exciting. I want you guys to just sit back, relax and enjoy because we are not going to be cooking today, we will be baking and we will be baking Malta Guinness banana cake and we will be making some Malta Guinness milkshake. You see that, you know, you can't even just afford to blink. I will be right back, you guys. There's a drop of goodness in everyone. Share goodness with someone today. Malta Guinness. Enjoy a world of good. So as we make our banana bread, I'd like to share an experience I had with you. Growing up, I'll start first by mashing my bananas. These are overripe bananas. So you can use a fork to mash your banana. Just make sure that you mash it properly. Some people like to see particles of bananas inside their banana bread. If you like that, please, by all means, go for it. So back to my story, you know, growing up, you know, I started cooking when I was eight years old. I would normally just, you know, cook, cook. And when my mom saw that I could cook very well, she just literally made me the chef of the house. So I knew how to cook soup, you know, even though it wasn't so standard, but I knew the basics of everything. So my banana is mashed now. We'll come back to our story. Just want to mash it well. yeah so i have my mashed bananas now i'll be going in with my wet ingredients that's my egg the measurements and everything will be on the screen okay i have my egg here i'll go in with my melted butter you can either use melted unsalted butter or you can also use oil for this recipe so back to my story so i'm just gonna mix this together Back to my story, I would normally cook for the house, you know, in fact, you know, at the point, they just left the kitchen for me. So there was one time like that, I was in school and a noodle brand came to school. They did a competition and I won like a pack of noodles. We'll be right back. <laughs> so now I want to add the star ingredient of this banana bread, which is Mota Guinness. But the trick to using your Malta Guinness for this recipe is to mix it with your milk. So you're going to be using dried powdered milk. So instead of you using like liquid milk, you're going to pour your Malta Guinness into a cup and then mix it with your powdered milk. So let's get into that right away. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to move this here and have, I have an empty container here. Open my Malta Guinness. I always love the sound of the can opening. I'll just transfer some into this container. I know some people take this mixture, malt and milk. <laughs> so why not add it to your banana bread? <laughs> okay, so I have the powdered milk. So I'm just gonna add it carefully into the malt Guinness and give it a good mix. So I'll be looking now to get one cup of this mixture into my mixture, my wet ingredient. So let's do that real quick. So I'll give it a good mix. I love this mixture. <laughs> I'm gonna add some more malta Guinness to this. So I have half a cup here. So I have half a cup here. So I want to make sure that I have two of these to make it one cup. this here 
and then do one so this is multi guinness and powdered milk one and then do another one two so we are good to go with this one i'm just gonna give it a good mix so back to my gist now while i'm mixing this so a noodle brand came to school and they did a competition and I won a carton of noodles and uh, I went back home with the carton of noodles very very excited you know I told you I was the chef of the house I was always cooking you know I showed my siblings we are four I showed my siblings everybody was so excited and I came up with one silly idea I was like why don't I just cook the noodles why I cook it mommy will be excited to see you know see that i cooked noodles as my chef of the house now my siblings were so they were, they were so happy they were they agreed to eat you know i'll be right back so we want to mix our dry ingredients now so i have my sugar here i'm going to add sugar then i have my flour make sure that your flour is so let me just let me just clear up this place So I'm just going to add my sifting flour now. You can use a sieve, you know, it's a chef's kitchen. Everything is always different. So I'll just use this to sieve my flour into the mixture. So I'm just going to transfer this. Let me see if I can pour it carefully. Okay, perfect. So. I just want to stick them this this is to allow hair breathe into the mixture so you don't have any flour clogging together so back to my gist i decided to flex my muscle and guess what you guys i cooked all 40 noodles i mean yes you know how many noodles are in a pack i cooked all 40 of them my siblings and i ate we didn't we couldn't even eat up to quarter of what i cooked because what 40 noodles for four people it was a lot but i was more excited at the fact that my mom would come back home and see me that i've cooked you know for, for all noodles and probably will praise me that was what i thought actually i'm going to add my baking powder now so my baking powder is the next uh, the last ingredient to add to this mixture and i'll just give it a good mix so the trick about making your banana bread is that you shouldn't mix it too much once your flour has gone inside and your baking powder has gone inside just carefully mix everything together your um your banana bread doesn't need too much mixture so it doesn't hard enough for you get so by the time my mom came back i was so excited to go meet her. i was like ah mom guess what you know this to do brand came to the school and they gave us one pack of noodles and my mom was like ah well done you know so i have my banana bread here the mixture here now i'm just going to transfer it into my baking pan and go ahead to bake this and right away we'll make our milkshake you celebrate spread the goodness with Malta Guinness okay so I have my baking pan here it's a silicon baking uh, mold it's always very good to use it to bake um, I'm just going to um, fill it up or layer it with some oil so that the bread doesn't stick but if you use a silicon mold normally the bread shouldn't stick but I'm just trying to take extra precautions so this is oil you can use butter for it and just go ahead to transfer then i'll now garnish with the banana or oh, i'll decorate it with the banana yummy this looks so yummy and i love the fact that i added multi guinness so yeah i've transferred my butter into my mold i just want to decorate it with banana so i'm just going to take a whole banana and divide it into two just like so and just carefully drop it on top you see that by the time we are done you know baking this it looks really sumptuous 
So now we head straight to bake this. You can bake this in your oven, in your air fryer. You can bake this on the stove top. You can bake this anywhere that you know. You normally heat. You can even break it, bake it in your microwave. So long as your microwave has that function, you're going to break in this in 200 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes. I'll be right back. I am always super excited to share something new with you. So welcome to this segment where we share fun facts about culinary practices, where we share fun facts about nutritional values of what you eat and literally anything that is beneficial to you and me. So in this segment, I'm going to be sharing fun facts about banana bread. Banana bread was named banana bread because yeast was used as the leavening and rising agent back then, but evolved and we started using baking soda and baking powder. So now you are free to call banana bread banana cake because you literally make banana bread just like you make a cake. So if you have ever wondered whether to call banana bread banana cake, the answer is a big yes because they are the same thing. I just explained why it was called bread in the past. Banana bread is rich in vitamin B6 and in potassium. So please go ahead to make your banana bread because you are actually getting something good into your body. Now we're about to make a multi-grains milkshake. Let me just run through the ingredients real quick then I come back to my story. I have my multi-grains here. I have some vanilla ice cream. I'm going to be using some bananas, ripe bananas and then some milk. I'll then be using some whipped cream over the cup and then decorative sprinkles. So where was I with my story? Yes, my mom. My mom came home and I was so happy to tell her. I always love the sound of this. I was so happy to tell her that, you know, you know, they came to school, they gave us packs of noodles and she's like, where is the noodles? And I'm like, it's in the kitchen. I've cooked everything. <laughs> Let me scoop my ice cream. So I'm going in with, I'm going to be using five scoops of ice cream. It's a milkshake, so you need to be very generous with the ice cream. So this is three scoops, four scoops, and five scoops. So this would naturally serve two people. So if you wanted to serve more people, you can always double the ingredients. So I have my milk here. I'm going with my milk and then my banana. So my mom walked into the kitchen and then saw, first off, the kitchen was upside down. <laughs> I had cooked, I did not clean up or we cooked, at this point it wasn't just me, it was my siblings and I. We had cooked, we did not clean up, we left all the packs of noodles on the floor and then she went into the pot and saw that I had cooked all 40 noodles, all 40. Yes, I cooked all 40. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny that time. So let's let's blend quickly. It wasn't funny. Oh. Hmm. Our multi-guinness milkshake is ready, well blended. I'm just going to go ahead to dress it in my cup. This is a milkshake cup. I'm just going to pour this. Oops. Drop this here and then decorate with my whipped cream. This looks so good, you guys. I'm sure you can't wait to try this. And then, last but not the least, my decorative sprinkles. Always so yummy. Just gives you, just makes it look so inviting, you guys. And then my cup. So where did I stop with my story? Yes, it was funny that time. It wasn't funny. It wasn't funny that time. It was funny now because I received the beating of my life. <laughs> you know, African parents and things like this, they don't joke with it. Hmm. Anytime I remember that I cooked 40 noodles, I, I never, you guys, I was 13 years old though. I was 13 years old and I did this. Please. Ah, I can't forget. I will never, I will tell my great grandchildren what I, what happened that day anyways i'm going to check on my um banana bread now and i'll be back to have a taste to show you guys what multi guinness banana bread looks like you already you already seen how multi guinness milkshake looks like it's super easy and i want you guys to recreate it i'll be right back <laughs>
There's a drop of goodness in everyone. Share goodness with someone today. Malta Guinness. Enjoy a world of good. Hmm, I'm sure you're wondering, what is Chef T doing with a knife? Don't worry, I'm not hurting anybody. I want to share something very, very important with you on this segment. You know, on this segment, we share kitchen tips, kitchen hacks to make your kitchen experience and your cooking experience the most enjoyable one. So today, I'm going to be sharing how to sharpen your knife the fastest way. I'm sure a lot of you run into these problems where you want to cut and the knife is very blunt and you're trying to send somebody, go and, go and sharpen the knife for me in the market, go and do this or some of you carry your knife outside and look for one stone or something. The fastest way to sharpen your knife, like if you want to use it immediately, is to get a mug like this, a mug cup. You turn it over like this, get your blunt knife and just do this and just sharpen until you can feel or touch or feel the sharp part of your knife and know that it is good to go. So you don't have to send anyone to the market to sharpen your knife. You can do it in the comfort of your home and your kitchen. The good thing about it is you can sharpen for as long as you want. If the knife keeps getting blunt, just keep sharpening and sharpening. There is no expiry date for it. Just get a mug and your knife and you are good to go. Another tip I would like to share with you today is if you have ever thought of microwaving with foil paper, please stop there. Don't microwave with foil paper because foil paper doesn't do well with reactive or high heat. It literally starts to sparkle and before you know it, your kitchen can catch fire. May we not see that kind of thing, no? So please, when you want to microwave, get a microwave safe bowl to microwave anything you want to microwave. Please do not use a foil paper. I hope you learned something on this segment. Please do not go anywhere. The show continues. Join me in the Goodness Kitchen as we learn new exciting recipes, chill with some of your faves and enjoy intriguing games for your satisfaction. Ready for a taste of goodness? Guys, please, you have to forgive me. This banana bread was too good and I had to dig in before we came back on air. So I just want to show you how good it tastes. It looks really good very very crunchy on the outside and moist on the inside how i love my banana bread can you hear that let me taste once again mm. 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 i can taste the multi guinness in both recipes I can taste the banana. I love how all the ingredients marry together to give me this fabulous mixture. You guys, I hope you run straight to the market now or straight to your pantry, to your storage and recreate this recipe because it is too good. Recreate it for yourself. Recreate it for yourself, for your family, for your friends, for anybody around you. And trust me, they'll come back and ask for more. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope you really enjoyed yourself because I definitely did enjoy myself. I'll see you guys in my next episode. But please do want to follow us on all our social media pages on the screen and make sure you engage on all our posts on social media. And remember that more tagginess is fortified with B vitamins that fills you with energy, that fills you with goodness and vitality. I'll see you guys in my next episode. I remain Chef T. Bye! Please record though. Hit record. Welcome to this segment. Segment. <laughs> and remember that Malta Guinness is fortified with B vitamins that gives you vitality, that gives you energy and goodness that you need to run your day every day. Hmm. I'll see you guys in my next episode. I remain Chef T. Bye. So that you can eat. Hey, mm, mm, that's so good. Oh, mom, you're so good. Mm. 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 Mm.